Hello people of the internet, I am back and I am doing something that I have never done before that I really have wanted to try and that is a talk through get ready with me tutorial. So today I am graduating the ninth grade and I thought that I would record my banquet makeup with you guys. I know this is quite much but I mean I, that's just who I am, go big or go home. So I really hope you guys like this video, please subscribe, um, like and just tell me what you want to see next. I really hope you guys enjoy the video. And before we start, I would like to mention that this video will be long. Um, and if you don't really want to, if you don't have time to watch like a long video, please watch it again or don't watch it at all. But yeah, I really hope you guys like the video. Let's go on with the tutorial. Okay, before I blend my foundation out, what you're going to do is use a beauty blender and just kind of tap it in. You don't want to get rid of all of the color on your face. But you just want to get rid of a little bit because, I mean, you could kind of see through the foundation. You can see a little bit of the green. But if you just tap on it pretty lightly, I mean, don't get rid of all the green, then the foundation can go over it. Okay, now I'm going to be using the Holy Grail of Foundations, the Kat Von D uh, McLaka Tattoo Foundation in light. And the really awesome thing about it is that I'm literally using this much. I don't know if you can see that because of the lighting. But... I just, using it this much literally can cover one half of my face and how awesome is that? Like, I mean it's an expensive foundation, it was like 50 bucks, but literally I have had this since last summer and I now need to buy a new one. Like not now, like see there's still a little bit left, but I mean I'm probably gonna have to buy one within a month and that is just awesome that this foundation for $50 can last you a year. Is it, That is just spectacular. I'd also like to mention that this foundation does not break you out. Well, at least for me, it doesn't. I mean, I don't have like really bad breakouts. I have them from like occasion, but um, I've had full coverage foundation before because this is a really full of This is a full coverage foundation, and you know, when I first bought it, I was like, I'm gonna have to return it. It's gonna break me out. But no, it did not break me out, and that's why I love this so much. Is that the pretty full coverage foundation? Honestly, this could probably cover like acne scars and really bad redness which thankfully i don't have but if you do this literally probably will be amazing for you i just like to say that so yeah kat von, kat von d foundation it's great so to set my foundation i'm going to be using the maybelline setting powder um and i'm just going to be using like a fluffy little brush and i'm just going to be applying this um setting spray to the face because it is i live in florida and it's very hot in florida so you all, I always make sure to put on extra setting spray and setting powder together because, I mean, you just kind of have to, especially during this time when it's summer and you live in Florida. It's just kind of a must. Okay, now I'm going to be using the Cover FX Contour Kit, Cream Contour Kit in light. And I'm going to be using the shade number four right here. And it kind of looks a little bit orangey toned on um, camera, but it's really not very orangey in real life. I mean, it is a little bit, but I mean, it's not like super orangey. So I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna go right underneath the cheekbone. Okay, that's a little bit too much, but that's okay. You can always blend it out and the beauty blender, like I said, perfect for blending. Even like the harshest contour will make it perfect. So yeah, I'm just gonna be going right on my forehead. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be contouring too much. I'm gonna be, okay, well this look is not light whatsoever, but I mean, I don't wanna like look like I'm going to like the Met Gala or something. I just, I'm, I'm graduating ninth grade okay i mean i want to slay but at the same time i don't want to be like beyonce slay do you know what i mean <laughs> so now everything is just gonna be blended out just kind of pat it in Ooh, look at my face jiggling <laughs> i mean you can use a brush to like blend out your cream contour but like every person who is obsessed with makeup like knows that a beauty blender is like perfect for cream contouring and I mean, I just love the Beauty Blender so much. Like, I know it's $20 and some people say you're ridiculous, you just bought a $20 sponge. And they're somewhat right, I did buy a $20 sponge. And at first I kind of regretted it because I was like, I just bought a $20 sponge. Like, but I mean, this one, it's like freaking amazing. I have like no regrets whatsoever of buying this. And it has like changed my makeup game. So thank you to whoever invented the Beauty Blender, but at the same time, screw you for making it so expensive. But I mean, I still love it and I'd still pay $20 for it any day. So thank you. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna be using the Chicathon palette from Benefit, which is amazing by the way, I'll get into it later. And I'm gonna be using the Hoola bronzer. And I'm just gonna be defining the cheekbones a little bit more because like I said, you want my, I just want my cheekbones to be like, look kind of cut, like damn, like that is like one nice ass cheekbone, like something almost it would look like I had plastic surgery because my cheekbone just looks so good. So like I said, I want it to be defined more. So now I'm just gonna be blending it in Blending it in, blend until the day I die. Woo, blend until the day I die. Okay, I hope you like that song. Anyways, I could totally go on about this palette. It is amazing. It was only like, I think, $50. And may I mention that this is like a $100 plus dollar value? I'm not sure the exact value, but all I know is that it was over $100. You get five full size benefit cheek palettes. So you get like all five of this. For like 50 bucks it's amazing please like if you have money like go out to your sephora now and buy it and like just i mean it's amazing i just i can't even like describe the amazingness of this product i love it okay moving on okay now that my cheekbones are on fleek i'm gonna be using some of the raconteur um blush from the palette that i was using before and i'm just gonna be going on the cheeks i really love the rock um the raconteur bronzer since i have bronzer freaking blush. Ugh. Back to our blush because I am pale as hell. Even though I live in Florida, I just can't tan. It's impossible. Anyways, so this just like gives like the perfect like pinky like sheen color. It's a little bit um on the shimmery side, but I just think it's perfect. It almost looks like a cream like sheer sheer blush. It's kind of like the Josie Moran um, Argon blush. If you tried that, it's amazing. But I haven't bought it since, but I don't know. I just... I should. Anyways, so the Raconteur blush. If you don't want to buy the palette, buy the Raconteur blush. It's great. Now, using the Anastasia Glow Kit, my favorite. <laughs> I freaking love this thing. I'm going to be taking the Sunburst shade, and I'm just going to need to be applying to the top of my cheekbone. Look at that glow. Just look at that. Holy crap, holy. That is amazing. Ugh. Once you've highlighted, like, there's no tomorrow, you're going to want to... Highlight like this in tomorrow on the bridge of your nose and a little bit on the cupid's bow on the lip And that is it Okay, so I'm gonna be using this lamb comb brush I do not think this was meant to be for brow products, but you know what it works and Whatever so I'm just going to be applying my Anastasia brow gel again my favorite and I'm just gonna be kind of lining the brows not too much just lightly Lining them brows on the bottom. And you may want to make sure like the tip on the end is like really pointed because you want like your brow wing. I call it a brow wing. I don't think that's what it's supposed to be called, but I call it a brow wing. You want your brow wing to slay, okay? You want it to slay, and that's just the end of the story, okay? <laughs> okay, using my Cap on D foundation, you can also conceal a concealer for this, whatever you prefer. I'm just going to be applying some of this underneath my brow and right on the brow wing and just kind of sharpening it a little bit so it can just be like damn that is one nice brow wing you know <laughs> okay i'd like to ask is one of your brows like more slightly arched than the other one because i mean look at this brow okay and then this brow is like more arched and no i did not attempt i didn't try to make it more arch it just kind of naturally is that way like i'm following the natural pattern of the brow but it's so weird and i mean it like just makes it like so much more difficult because like then i have to put more concealer on this brow so it can be leveled with this brow and i mean i try to make this brow more angled but it just doesn't work like i mean it's just so difficult okay so we're gonna go on with the eyes now and i'm just going to be applying tape to the sides of my eyelids i always do this because this just makes your shadow like to have a perfect line it also makes your wing liner like just slaying okay so yeah i always do this it's great you should do it too now i'm just going to be using this elf eyelid primer i just bought this because i ran out of eyelid primer and i wanted to try this one out it's a little bit cakey but i mean i'm just gonna i'm just gonna blend it out I mean, everyone loves e.l.f., so you know what? I mean, I've tried e.l.f. before. I haven't really been, like, in love with anything e.l.f., but maybe I will this time. I'm not giving up hope. Okay, I'm just going to be taking some um, of the white from the 
um, NYX Jumbo Pencil Eye Pencil in Milk. And I cut it down because, I mean, I just can't find a sharpener that will fit it and I just cut it because there's still much, so much more product left in it and I'm not gonna buy a new one because I'm broke. So anyways, I'm just gonna be taking a little bit on this brush and not a lot, but just put a little bit of that milk like right under here because I really want like my brows to look like lifted and just like on fleek. So the white will um, help that. I'm just gonna be using this brush. Don't know what it is, don't know what it's called, doesn't say. And I'm just gonna be using the porcelain shade from the Lorac Pro Mega Pro 2 palette. And I'm just gonna be setting that white. Not a lot. Like see, like look at how much softer that looks compared to this one. I don't know if like the lighting is kinda off, but I mean, it just looks so much softer. Boop, boop, boop. I'm gonna be using the Mega Pro 2 palette shade again. And I'm gonna be using the shade Tawny from the palette. And I have been using Tawny like a lot lately. I just think that this is like a perfect transition color and like makes your crease look just look so much more like in depth. And I just I just love it. It's perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna be using my Z palette, and my Z palette contains uh, some of my um Naked 3 shadows, the one that didn't break while I was trying to depot them. And I'm just gonna be using this like um like kind of like a warmy brown pink tone shadow i don't know what it's called because i don't know the name and i'm just gonna be going in the crease to make it more defined and the really like the big part of this look is just to blend 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 like especially with like any eyeshadows like especially like some in a crease like if you want to get like a really nice crease you're gonna want to blend and like keep doing it even if it takes like 10 minutes like that is the key just blend. Now I'm gonna be using a um a pale shade from the Naked 3 palette. And literally I had just dropped the Z palette face down and now like at least three of my shadows are ruined and it sucks, but I mean what can I do about it? I have to leave soon and I just have to get this video over with. Anyway, so I'm just gonna be using this um white shadow and this is gonna be a base for the glitter so I know where to put the glitter. Eventually this white shadow is probably gonna like disappear because of the glitter that's gonna be on it But like I said, this kind of like gives me like a path to like help me direct where I'm putting my glitter So it works Okay, one last thing I'm gonna be taking this like brownie like metallic -y shade from the Naked 3 palette And I'm just gonna be going like right in the outer corner and making that a little bit more deep not just like a like a tiny bit like not super deep just a little bit just a little bit of your heart just a little bit of your heart if you like ariana grande you know what i'm saying <laughs> i'm gonna be taking i'm gonna be taking the nyx um glitter primer and i'm just gonna be using this flat brush right here and like this this glue kind of dries like really fast so i'm already putting like a lot on my brush right now because i really want this glitter to stick so I'm gonna be using the NYX um, glitter and I don't know which shade it is, I'll tell you later. I can't really focus on that right now. I need to get this glitter on. Okay. Okay, because I couldn't really like talk and focus what I was doing at the same time, what I did is I just used this little flat brush and I um, put the glitter primer on and with a little bit of glitter, glitter primer still on the brush, I got, I um, applied some glitter on it. I just kind of like patted it on the table and had like a pile of glitter. And I just kind of kept packing it on. And I think I'm going to pack a little bit more on. Like, like I said, I mean, I guess some people would not wear freaking glitter eyeshadow, um, eye pigment to their ninth grade graduation. But, you know, I'm not normal. And I will wear glitter pigment to my graduation. Because, you know what? I can. Okay, now I'm going to be using my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Swerve. Swerve. And I'm going to be using a... A, uh, angled eyeliner brush okay I can't talk I can't focus and talk and do my eyeliner at the same time sorry okay so now you know why I I put tape always on the end of my eye because just look at this hold on do you see that that is just, it's amazing the only bad part of it is that sometimes I don't get it connected all the way so I'm just gonna be making it a little bit sharper, just a tiny bit. Not a lot, just a little. See, I don't even have to like 
get any more product on my brush. I just do it. See, look, there's a little bit of fallout like right here. I don't know if you can see that, but <sighs> that is why you always like want to use like a shield, especially if you're using glitter, because I mean, it will just fall like directly under your eye. Kind of sucks, but I mean, it just happens. Okay, now I'm gonna be using the Ardell Demi Wispies. And I just wanna at least first say that I am not a professional at putting on fake lashes. I'm actually quite bad. For hours today, I spent watching tutorials on how to put on eyelashes. So I'm just gonna kinda like gently pull it off with some tweezers. And, ugh, geez, I'm nervous. <laughs> Okay, since I'm absolutely god awful at applying eyelashes, I'm not gonna film this because I really need to have my utmost focus. I hope you understand. I did it. Oh my god, I am so proud of myself. I have never like actually successfully put on fake lashes before in my entire life. This is like the best day ever. Okay, now I'm gonna be taking a little bit of this rosy nude shade from the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. And I'm just gonna be going with my Naked 3 brush like right underneath my eye. Okay, the first, final step is using the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in uh, Teas and Cookies. And I'm going to be applying this. Um, I can't talk, obviously, while I'm doing my lips, so I'll just do a um, time lapse of it. Anyways, this is the final and finished look. I hope you like it. And by the way, may I mention, I just got my hair dyed today. It is so blonde, I love it. I'm just so happy right now, oh my God. Anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. Um, I will see you guys next Thursday. Make sure to subscribe, click that like button down there, and tell me what you wanna see next because I like suggestions. Thank you guys, bye.